Hi there, welcome to the behind the scenes recording of my flash briefings for Amazon Alexa smart speakers. Guess what? In less than a week, we're going to be able to stop hearing about the election. Happy days, but there's one thing that we won't stop hearing about. Here we go. A rate cut is coming soon, most economists now agree, and so do the banks. They are starting to cut fixed mortgage rates and have already taken an axe to term deposit rates. In April, there were 18 increases versus almost 300 cuts, according to analysis I asked Mozo to do for you. This went up until September last year, the number of rate increases had outnumbered decreases. That's how recently the smart money was instead on a reserve bank rate hike. So what to do if you have cash you want to park risk-free? Well, forget term deposits, unless you can find one paying 3%. With most, however, already you get less for locking your money away for three years than you do in a bonus-style savings account you have to meet certain conditions each month to qualify for a much higher rate of interest. Now these might be, say, make deposits of at least $200 a month and no withdrawals. And that's of course the trap. If you miss these hurdles, you'll fall down to a paltry base rate. The best you can get is 3% overall right now with the Bank of Queensland. There's only one hurdle to trigger the full rate, but it is a big one. It's deposit $1,000 a month or say your salary. If you can't manage that, there are a couple of other accounts offering ongoing conditional bonus rates of 2.9%. Meanwhile, there is one group rate decreases are of course great for, people who owe money. And although cuts are designed to kickstart an economy, you can instead use them as a free kick to clear your debt early by simply keeping your repayments the same when your minimum goes down. Unfortunately, lenders are likely to keep a bit for themselves. They're contending with some post-Royal Commission pain pain, expensive compensation bills. But let's say you do get the full 25 basis point rate cut on the average $400,000 mortgage and simply leave your repayments at their existing level. Assuming you are now paying the average 4.33%, you'll save $28,000 and shave a year off your loan term. Better still, refinance to the cheapest loan on the market, it's way down at 3.44%, yes, from Mortgage House, and that figure leads to $90,000 and three years. Remember, all for free.